Hey guys, Yvonne here, and in this video I want to show you how to use Zyro, which is a really cool website builder. I know that some of you are really intimidated by WordPress because it is not quite beginner friendly. And so this video was sponsored by Zyro and I want to show you how to build out a website here as you watch behind my shoulder. So if you guys head over to Zyro.com slash Mana, they actually have a special Black Friday deal going on right now up until December 7th. So if you sign up before then, you will get up to 86% off and three months free with any yearly plan. So definitely a great discount. If you sign up after December 7th, you will only get up to 72% off. So now is a great time to get started. And if you scroll down, you will see all their plans and all their features. You can click on see all features to see more. And my favorite features are the AI tools they have, such as the heat map and the content creation writing tool. So as you can see, Zyro is very affordable. The websites that you create will load extremely fast. It's very easy to use. It's a simple drag and drop editor, just like ClickFunnels or Unbounce. And they have amazing 24 seven live chat support. And I'm gonna show you how to do everything here in this video. Now, before we get into it guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos like this, showing you how to improve your business and how to make money online. That said, let's get straight into it. So. I did create a sample page website that looks like this. So as you know, if you are doing affiliate marketing, the hottest niche that I suggest you promote is centered around health products. And so here I created kind of like a sample health blog. And so you have a website here where you have the option to learn more, or maybe if you're selling something, you can buy now. You know, and then over here, this is the default text actually, so this was already there, but you can change it to whatever suits you best. And so this is about, you know, match and why match is great for health. But then the coolest part here is the blog here, right? So normally the reason why people use WordPress is for blogging because it's the easiest blogging platform, but it's actually super, super easy to create blogs with Zyro as well. And so if you click on any one of these, for example, I created kind of a sample article here and you can use your affiliate link anywhere here, guys, right? So that's how you're gonna make money with Zyro. You would put your affiliate link anywhere in this blog post. Maybe if you go back, maybe you wanna put something here. So this one, for example, should you try to keto diet, the blog post that I added, you could maybe add the custom keto diet product here and you could tie it in and say, hey, you know, so in conclusion, you should try the keto diet and click here to actually try it out or get a custom plan. And that's how you would be making money with affiliate marketing and Zyro. So what I'm gonna do here is I will log into my own Zyro account and I'm gonna show you exactly how to build out a website that looks just like this, all right? I will see you soon. All right, so here I am inside the Zyro main dashboard. So what we're gonna do here, the first thing we're gonna do is just click on create new website. And we're gonna start from scratch. And you do have several options here. So you can use an AI website generator. You could start completely from scratch or you can use a template and then change some things around. And that's what I did with this website right over here. And so we're gonna use this option here for the purpose of this video. But again, you can use any of these and you should be able to create a website just as easily. So I'm gonna click on choose a template and then you can select what your field is in. So for example, if you're doing e-commerce, there are some templates better suited for e-commerce. If you're doing photography, there are some better options for that. But keep in mind, it doesn't ultimately matter what you pick because you can always change it up, right? So if you go to old templates, the template that I picked was this one right over here. If we go to the next page, right here, okay? So this was the page that was there at the start and then I went in and I changed it and I added some things and I added the blog posts, you know, things like that. And so we can use this as an example and I can show you how to change things around so that you can use any template and you will know exactly what to do, all right? So we can go ahead and click on start building and now everything here will be pre-populated. I'm gonna skip tour because I am your tour guide for the day so you don't really need it. And we can now proceed to go in and change things. So let me just quickly show you these things here on the left and what they do before we actually get in here and start changing the website. So the first part here is the pages and navigation. So this is gonna be what will be on your menu bar. So for example, if I drag this home up here and I drag this contact up here, then, oops, I don't wanna do that. I wanna add it separately like that. Let me drag it here. 
And so now you see these options here, right? Where you can navigate between the pages. So this is a super easy way. Like what you see is what you get. So unlike WordPress, you don't have to constantly, you know, come back out and edit and then come back in and see what it's like. You literally see as you make the changes. So really, really cool. And you can also add more pages if you want. So if you want to add an about us page, you can do that here. So you could, you could actually choose from a template or you can just say add blank page and then you can name it. So you can say page settings. And you can say um, about us, for example, and that's the page URL. So it's going to be your website, whatever name you want to give it dot zyrosite.com slash about us. And it can be hidden or you can just unhide it. And there it is. It's going to be here. And now you can just add elements. And this is your new page that you created. So really, really easy, guys. Really simple to create these added pages. So that's what these pages and navigation is. It, it basically allows you to add pages to the main navigation bar here at the top. Now, if you go here to add element, this is where you'll be able to add all the different elements that you want. So if you want to add text, you can go in here and drag text anywhere you want. And then the coolest thing about Zyro actually. So if you guys recall, one of the main reasons why I switched from ClickFunnels to Unbounce is because of the extra flexibility that Unbounce gave me. I could put text or elements anywhere on the page. And so Zyro is the same in this regard where you can put elements anywhere you want as well. I can drag it over here. I can drag it here, but it doesn't have to be put in the same perfect little blocks as ClickFunnels. So definitely they give you much more flexibility here. And if you go back in here, you can add all these different other options as well. So that's pretty much really all you need to create a website. So I'm going to delete this here but hopefully you got the idea of how you can now add text. Now, if you go into website styles here, you can change your website style. So some of your colors, you can change the text. So this is like the default text here. As you can see, the text changes right there. Let's leave it as what it was before. You can go into buttons and you can change your button layout. So for example, here, if I choose my button layout to be more circular, as you can see, this one now became more circular and that's the idea, right? So this is just your website styles that you can change. So the next thing here you have is the blog. So if you click on start a blog, it's going to add a little blog option up here in your menu bar as well. And this is where you'll be able to add the blogs. And I'm going to show you how to edit these and how you can very easily write the blog post. It's very, very simple to do. I absolutely love it. And you should be able to do it yourself as well. So we'll get back to this. One more thing though, is the online store. So if you do have an online store, like if you're doing e-commerce and you want to sell products and you want to have a shopping cart, Notice how right now there is no shopping cart, but you can easily add it by clicking add store page. And now you will have added this shopping bag option here. And now you can navigate between all the menu options. So you can choose whatever you want here, guys. You have so much control, so much flexibility. It is really amazing. And one more thing, the AI tools. So they do have this logo maker, which is really cool as well. It helps you make a logo way, way faster than you would for yourself. So they give you kind of some default options and then you can go in and play around with them, change a color, you know, change the shape, things like that. Really, really cool and really easy to do. They also have this AI writer tool, which helps you write content. Now, this isn't going to write a 2000 page essay for you, but it does help you get started. So I'll show you how to use this as well once we get to the blogs. And then one more thing I really like is the AI heat map. So a heat map shows you where viewers on your website are putting more attention or less attention on where they are clicking things like that using the mouse cursor as the guide. So this will give you an idea of what users are really paying attention to. So you can put more emphasis on it. All right. So Zyra has some really, really cool default features that you would normally have to pay for. For example, the AI heat map, the AI writer, the logo maker, things like that. So now that I went over all the tools and everything you have at your disposal, we can now go in and start editing. And this is really straightforward. So you should really get the idea within the first few minutes, but I'm just going to show you anyway. So for example, let's suppose we want to edit this and we don't want a background here like we have on our page. See, I made it a white background. So what you can do is you can select this option here at the top and you have sections, right? So this blue thing here, this is one section. This is another section. And then I can come in here. I can click on this little gear icon, which is going to open the settings. We can go to style and I can say transparent header and it's just going to make it the color that you choose here. So if I choose this color, it's going to be that I can make it pink, whatever, right? You can also go to custom colors and you can choose whatever color you want. If you have a hex code, you can do that here as well. So lots of lots of options. I'm going to keep it white just because it's the easiest to see, but you can obviously make it whatever you want to. And you can even change the color of the words here if you want. So maybe you can make the background black and the words white. That's totally up to you. 
whatever suits you the best. So that was good. I'm happy with that. Now, one thing I do want to do is probably remove the logo. So what I'll probably do is click on change logo and I will say don't show logo, right? Cause I don't want the logo to be there. Plus this isn't monk. This is our kind of sample page. Uh, but if you do want a logo, of course you can keep it there. You can upload it. So if you come back here again, you click change logo, you show logo, and then you just upload it with your own logo. You can make it bigger make it smaller, you know, menu item spacing. You can reduce the spacing between the logo and the menu bars. Lots of different options here. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward, right? So once you click on the gear icon, it'll literally show you what to do, where to go, things like that. And if you guys are ever stuck, you can always contact their 24 seven support right over here. So you can click here and you can submit new ticket by sending a message and their support is, is really good. So they usually respond within minutes, sometimes within seconds, all right? So they're always there for you. So let's suppose I'm happy with this menu bar here at the top. If you don't like the font, for example, or you don't like the size, if you click on this little edit style icon here, uh, if you click on edit text styles, you can choose the font, right? So you can make it this font, which actually looks pretty good. I'm actually happy with that. Or you can go with any, like they have a bunch of different fonts, right? So you can select whatever you want, uh, like this one, Goblin 1. Give it a second to load. And that doesn't look as good. So I think I'm going to stick with the one I had before. Okay, so I don't remember the, the one that I just recently added before that one, but this one looks pretty good, all right? So if, if you're happy with that, you can keep it as is. You can increase the size a little bit, maybe to 18, maybe to, let's see, maybe 24. That looks okay, right? So up to you, you have so much control here, guys. You can pretty much edit anything you want. Now for this page, let's suppose we want to actually create something like this. Like we're doing, you know, let's say weight loss. So you can change this to whatever you want. Let's say this website is about losing weight. And then we can change the font, we can change the text, so we can maybe bold it here if we want. We can select heading, and then we can say change text styles. And so for the heading, let's say we want to make this not Poirette 1, we wanna make it the same, which was a high Libre, which is the same font as that, right? Let's suppose we wanna do that, and that's how we would go about doing it. Now, let's suppose we also wanna expand this a little bit. All you're gonna do is click the little, the little box here and just expand it, and it's very easy to do, see? You have a lot of flexibility here in this case. And let's suppose I wanna remove this logo. You're just gonna select an element and you're just gonna delete it. So really easy to do. You can click on buy now, you can click edit button and you can change the button here as well. So you can change the text here. Let's say instead of buy now, we say learn more now. You can go to style. You can choose the type of style you want. You can edit the text, you can edit the size, you can make the button bigger, smaller, and so on. You can also change the color. So over here, this is the fill color, and then this is the color when you actually hover over it. So as you can see, when you hover over it right now, it's a little bit lighter. So that's totally up to you and how you wanna do it. And if you go into layout, you can also choose to center it. So if you center it, if you expand this a little bit, the button's gonna be centered. So totally up to you how you wanna do it. And then of course, there is this little exclamation mark, and that just means that you should integrate it with Stripe if you do actually wanna sell something. So if you do have a Stripe account, all you're gonna do is click here, set up Stripe checkout, and you're just gonna integrate it with Stripe and be able to sell your products right away. So really cool. Now, if we wanna change this image here, Zyro has an integration with some free image websites. So if you click on change background, and you go to replace image, you can click on free images. So you can either upload an image yourself if you found one elsewhere, or you can just use this for simplicity. And if we're doing weight loss, we can type in, for example, weight loss and see what ideas we get. So we get all these ideas. Maybe let me do something to do with food. So maybe let's say um, weight loss food and maybe pick any one of these. So let's say we want to pick this one and we'll click add to page. And now it's going to be added right here. And then what you could do is you could also add opacity right here. And that way it'll be easier to read the text, right? So that's what I have here. I made my text white, which made it really easy to read. So if you find that some background images have like a lot of colors in there and make it hard to read, you can just change the opacity. So I really like this option. And then what we can do is we can select this text and we can just make it white, thus making it easy to read. And then we could probably remove this $30 option there, or you could have just kept it and made it white, whatever you wanna do. So that's the idea. You know, this is pretty much the same thing that I've done here. So hopefully you guys get the idea. And then as you scroll down, you can, again, knowing how to change the text and the images, you can do that here. So if you wanna change this image, you can click here. You can click change image. If you wanna change the text, you just double click that and you change the text. 
And if you want to add more images, more, more elements, more buttons, you can easily do that here. All right. So that's pretty much it for this part. Let me show you how to add the blogs as well. So it's really easy. So you have some existing blog posts here, so you can click on edit post and then you can change the title right over here. So if you click on this section here, you can click change post title and you can change the name, you can change the description and you can change the path. So let's say we're writing about, you know, three reasons why keto is great. So we can say three reasons why keto diet is great. And then maybe we can copy this into the description as well. So we can delete that, paste it here. And then over here we can say why keto is great. So this is going to be our path. So it's going to be your website, whatever you put in here, dot zyrosite.com slash why keto is great. You can also change the featured image. So this is the original image, right? We probably don't want that. So we can click on replace image come here and type in keto diet and we can select whatever we want. This one's super simple. So I'll just keep that for now and give it a second to load. And then you should be able to hit save and that will be your new image, the new featured image. And then over here, this is the post content, right? So you can go in here and you can start, start writing. Now I told you that I would show you about the AI writing tool. So this one's really cool. So this can give you a head start. So if you click here, and you select your topic, you will be able to get some starting text for you to get started, usually a long paragraph. So for example, in our case, maybe restaurants and food, you can choose, I don't know, bakery and the menu description, and you can click generate text. Now, in this case, we're writing about keto diet. So this doesn't really fit us very well, right? So what you could do instead is if you go back here again, you can use the go wild option. And so if you click here and you click on go wild, what this allows you to do is you just have to write a few sentences and then Zyro will automatically generate a paragraph or a few for you regarding that topic. So in this case, we're going to maybe add some sentences about the keto diet and then see what Zyro can do for us. So really, really cool guys. You don't have to do all this yourself and especially you don't have to necessarily come up with a starting description because Zyro can do that for you. So that's basically what you would do. So it is right now already saved. We can go back to exit and then this is our new post. And then you can do the same thing here. And then if you want to add more posts, all you're going to do is come over here to where it says blog and you can say add new post. And then you can just keep adding more and more posts. So if you click on exit, you won't say anything here because we didn't do anything. But if you click here again, and right now it says draft, if you actually publish this, so status draft, you make it public. We go back to exit. Now we should see it here on the next page. Okay. So now we have three. And so that's the idea guys. Uh, like I said, pretty straightforward. If you know how to do what I just showed you right now, that's pretty much all you need. So once again, if you sign up from now up until December 7th, you will get an up to 86% discount and three months free for any yearly plan that you choose guys. So just head over to zyro.com slash Yvonne Mana. Really cool, exclusive, limited time offer that you cannot get after this Black Friday special. If you found this content helpful, definitely take a look at my website at yvonnemana.com to get a free affiliate marketing guide, as well as my paid courses, which teach you how to make money online and how to use paid ad networks like Google, Facebook ads, and Microsoft ads at evonmana.com slash old dash courses. And that is it for this video. I hope you found just how powerful and useful Zyro is, and I will see you in the next one.